can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this figure, our goal is to find the area of the square. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, given this figure, our goal is to find the area of this square shaded in blue. Now, in order to answer this kind of question, of course, there's a lot of way to answer this kind of question, but since it is geometry, I want to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is equivalent to a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. And in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, what we're going to do here is to extend the side of the square and make a horizontal line at the bottom, like this, wherein all those red lines are perpendicular to each other. And now from here, notice that we created three right triangles. Here's the first one having the hypotenuse of 4, the other one having an hypotenuse of 2 units, and the third one having an hypotenuse of 5 units. Now, of course, in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, let's name some important sides. So the side of the square, let's call this as x. This side right here, let's call this as a. And this side right here, let's call this as b. Now take note that this side must be equal to x. This is just the length of the side of the square. Also, this side is also a because this is a rectangle. And this side is also a because, again, this is the side of the square. Now, using this right triangle with the hypotenuse of 5 units, using Pythagorean theorem, we have a plus x squared plus b squared equals 5 squared. Next, on this right triangle with the hypotenuse of 2, using the Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared equals 2 squared. And for the last time, on this right triangle with the hypotenuse of 4, using Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b plus x quantity squared equals 4 squared. Now, we have now three equations and three unknowns. And our goal is to solve for the value of x, or simply x squared, which is the area of the square. Now, let's focus first on these three equations. Now, let's simplify each of them. So, we have a plus x quantity squared plus b squared equals 5 squared. Now, let's expand a plus x quantity squared. This will give us a squared plus 2ax plus x squared, and 5 squared is just 25. Now, let's have the second equation, a squared plus b squared equals to 2 squared, and 2 squared is just 4. And then the last equation, we have a squared plus b plus x quantity squared equals 4 squared. b plus x quantity squared will give us b squared plus 2bx plus x squared, and 4 squared is just 16. Now, let's have all this equation, and on the second equation, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, why we do that? Because take note that a squared plus b squared must be equal to 4. Therefore, this a squared plus b squared must be equal to 4. Also, on the second equation, this a squared plus b squared is also equal to 4. Therefore, our first equation becomes 4 plus 2bx plus x squared equals 16. Subtract 4 on both sides, this will give us 2bx plus x squared equals 12. Do the same thing on the second equation. Subtract 4 on both sides. And now, since our goal is to solve for the value of x squared, what we're going to do here is to rewrite a and b in terms of x, then substitute to the third equation. Now, using the first equation, solving for b in terms of x, this will give us the value of b as follows. b12 minus x squared all over 2x. On the second equation, we get the value of a in terms of x. What we're going to do is to subtract x squared on both sides, then divide both sides by 2x. This will give us the value of a as 21 minus x squared all over 2x. Now, we have a on this part, so let's replace this a with 21 minus x squared all over 2x, like this. And we also have b right here, so let's replace this by 12 minus x squared all over 2x. 
Now let's focus on this equation. And now let's do the algebra. First, let's recall the expansion of x minus y quantity squared. It is equivalent to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So we will use this expansion on the numerator. Because the denominator, 2x quantity squared, is just 4x squared. So let's do that. On the numerator, we have 441 minus 42x squared plus x to the fourth power. Now, 12 minus x squared raised to 2, this will give us, using this identity, we have 144 minus 24x squared plus x to the fourth power. Now, let's multiply both sides by 4x squared. And then, let's simplify a little bit. 4 times 4x squared will give us 16x squared. Now, let's combine similar terms. x raised to the fourth power plus x raised to the fourth power will give us 2x raised to the fourth power. Next, negative 42x squared minus 24x squared will give us negative 66x squared. Next, 441 plus 144 will give us 585. Next, let's subtract 16x squared on both sides to make the right-hand side equal to 0. This will give us negative 82x squared. Now, let's go back to our figure a while ago. Take note that we want the value of the area. We want the area of the square, and the length of the side of the square is x, meaning the area of the square is simply x squared. So, let a be equal to x squared, or the area of the square must be equal to x squared. Take note that our equation becomes like this. 585 minus 82 times a plus 2a squared, wherein this a must be the area of the square, or simply a is x squared. Don't forget that. Now, in order to find the value of A, we will use the quadratic formula, which is equivalent to negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A, wherein the value of A is the coefficient of A squared, which is equal to 2. Now, the value of B is the coefficient of A, which is negative 82. And the value of C must be the constant term, which is 585. Now, let's simplify. Very quick, negative of negative 82 is positive 82. Next, negative 82 squared will give us 6,724. Now, 4 times 2 times 485, this will give us 4,680. And 2 times 2 on the denominator will give us 4. Now, 6,724 minus 4,680, this will give us 2,044. Now, let's simplify more. 2,044, let's factor this as 4 times 511. Now, square root of 4 is just 2. Now, simplify 82 plus or minus 2 times square root of 511 all over 4. This will give us 4 to 1 plus or minus square root of 511 all over 2. Therefore, we get two different values for the area of the square. We have 41 plus square root of 511 all over 2 or 41 minus square root of 511 all over 2, which is approximately, the first one is approximately equal to 31.803 and the second one is approximately equal to 9.1973. Now, here's the question. Which one is the correct area of the square? Hmm. Now, take note that on our solution a while ago, we have this kind of situation wherein the value of b must be 12 minus x squared over 2x and the value of a must be 21 minus x squared over 2x. Now, take note on our figure, a and b are both positive numbers. a and b cannot be a negative number in this figure. So, let's look at the value of b. b equals to 12 minus x squared, wherein this x squared is the value of a, or the area of the square. Therefore, x squared cannot be more than 12. So, the only possible area for the square must be equal to the second one, which is 9.1973, or 41 minus square root of 511 all over 2. Therefore, 
our answer to this question, what is the area of the square? And our answer is 41 minus square root of 511 all over 2 square units or approximately equal to 9.1973 square units. And as always, we are done.